Hey, I'm Roland with the Mobile Geeks, and yeah, what we have right here are the HTC 108, the new Huawei Ascent P7, and the Galaxy S5 from Samsung. Um, you probably know those two guys already quite well because we had a bunch of videos on our channel, and they've been out for a bit. And the new one is in the middle right there, the Huawei Ascent P7 that has just been launched two days ago in Paris, and. What I want to do now is just give you a quick comparison of those three devices. So let's talk about the hardware for a second. So these two have the Snapdragon 801 in there. This one's running at 2.5 gigahertz. That's the European version of the HTC M8, so we only have a 2.3 gigahertz. Um, Snapdragon 801, 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of onboard flash storage. They all have micro SD card slots by now. We have a 2 megapixel camera on the front a 5 megapixel camera on the front and 16 on this one and 4.3 ultra pixels on the back on the HTC One. So the Huawei SN P7 actually can't keep up spec wise because they're using a self-made or they're producing that chip themselves that's the Kirin 910T from High Silicon which is basically just an evolved version of last year's P6 or the processor that was in the P6 um, which has a 200 megahertz higher clock they have an LTE modem integrated there and yeah basically it's just a turbo version of the Kirin 910 that's why it's called 910T but they have a 8 megapixel camera on the front that includes all the uh, stuff that's normally on the back of the phone so you have five spherical lenses in there and it is definitely a nice uh, high resolution shooter on the front of the P7 there. Um, other than that, there's also 2 gigs of RAM in there, 16 gigs of flash storage, and a micro SD card slot. So that seems to be the standard now in the high end range. Um, they all have pretty much 5 inch panels. The Samsung Galaxy S5 has a 5.1 inch Super AMOLED screen, while the HTC and the Huawei SN P7 actually sport uh, 5 inch screens all running at full HD resolution and yeah they're pretty good so brightness wise the HTC One M8 and the Huawei SMP7 are actually pretty much in the same range as you can see right there they're both just above 460 candelabra so both are pretty well readable in bright sunlight compared to the Samsung Galaxy S5 if you have set this to auto mode the Super AMOLED panel on the S5 is going to be way brighter or even brighter than the displays on the two other devices. So the AMOLED panel actually um, sticks out against the competition and does a bit better. Depends on, in the end it depends on, if you, on the fact which screen technology you prefer and what you want to pay for your device since this is only just around 400 euros and this is selling for just under 600. So you pay a lot more for the Samsung S5, but you also get a lot more talking about, uh, for example, the higher clocks, the fingerprint reader, and the heart rate sensor integrated in the back. That's all missing on the Huawei SNP7. But the SNP7 has its yeah, advantages too. So it is just 6.5 millimeters thick. So if you put the Samsung Galaxy S5 and the SMP7 next to each other, you will definitely notice a huge difference in the depth of the two devices since the S5 is 8.1 millimeters thick and the SMP7 is only 6.5 as I said. Also, the material choices are totally different on both devices. The S5 is totally made out of plastic. They have this chrome rim around here, but that's just fake trim and it has this kind of rubberized leathery look back with those dimples on there while the Huawei SMP7 is fully made out of aluminum and Gorilla Glass 3 so we have a Gorilla Glass cover on the back right here and a Gorilla Glass 3 cover on the front also all metal casing on the sides except for the bottom well where the LTE antenna is placed that's why there's this plastic part down there. Um, weight wise they're pretty much on par so this is 124 grams I think and this guy also weighs in at 124. 
um, even if it's not the exact number I got right there, um, they're basically in the same weight. Also, if you compare the size, actually the S5 is just a tiny fraction taller than the Huawei S7 P7, but if you look at the rims around the screen, you'll see that the S5 has wider bezels than the S P7 right there, but otherwise they're pretty much identical from the front. Um, looking at the design, you'll see that the S5 is way more rounded. It's that same old Samsung kind of look, while Huawei is S sticking to their uh, concept that is known from the P6, from last year's P6, so it's all squared. has this round bottom right there, and the rest is pretty much squared and definitely looking a bit more fancy than the Galaxy S5 does in this case. Software-wise, they're all running their own iterations of Android, so we have the Emotion UI on this, we have Samsung's TouchWiz on the S5, and on the HTC One we have the good old HTC Sense UI. While Samsung adds tons and tons of features, also a bunch of their own apps, Huawei is actually sticking pretty much to what Android does themselves, so, the, so there's not many uh, separate apps included in the device. When you buy it, you just get a couple of uh, tools that Huawei actually installed, so we have a bunch of their own apps, but nothing special really. You have a bunch of cleaning apps, you have like utilities to actually help you maintain, maintain your phone, so there's a memory cleaner. Uh, speed optimizer and all that kind of stuff. They all actually have their own um, ultra power saving modes or power saving modes. I think HTC calls that their uh, extreme power saving mode while Huawei and Samsung are actually talking about a ultra power saving mode. So Huawei has also joined the pack there and has included that power saving stuff. Um, but let's quickly compare the Huawei SMP7 and the HTC One for a second. So if you look at both devices from the front, you'll see that the HTC One, although it only has a 5-inch screen, is a bit or quite a lot taller actually than the SNP7. That's because of that, well, kind of unnecessary room taken up by the HTC logo down there, but also because of the boom sound speakers that are on the HTC One. And yeah, they just make the device bigger. Hardware-wise, the shape is totally different, but they both look more, well, fancy than the Samsung S5, which is actually, yeah, kind of plasticky, right? So, HEC has this full metal design, really beautifully made, uh, milled out of one big brick of aluminum, and, yeah, it's definitely a sturdy device, looking pretty much great. Everybody I've talked so far, or talked to so far, pretty much likes the design of the HTC One M8, except for that bar down there with the HTC logo, actually. Um, also, a big difference right here is, again, the boom sound speakers on the HTC One are way louder, super high quality sound coming out of there. Um, I don't have any song songs on here right now, since these are only review samples and they have to go back pretty soon. Um, the sound just check out Nicole's video, is definitely awesome compared to, for example, the S5. Also on the Huawei, you only get this mono speaker down there, which is actually a bit uh, not as loud as on the S5, and certainly not as loud and good sounding as the boom sound speakers on the HTC One. So talking about the cameras, the Huawei SMP7 has a 13 megapixel camera back there with a latest Sony sensor. It's pretty good at taking pictures. It's not the fastest cam. It is just a tad slower than the S5 and a bit slower than the HTC, actually. Or in my case, it was um, definitely not the best lighting conditions, though. So it might have been because of the, um, yeah, the lighting conditions that it maybe took longer for the phone to adjust to that. Um, otherwise, there's certainly one important thing that is very, uh, you have to remember if you buy any of these, the Huawei SNP7 comes in at just over 400 euros, and the other two devices are ranging 150 more. So both started out at just over 600 euros and have now gone down to like 550, for example. And this is probably going to keep dropping in price very, very fast, and it will soon be available for 350, maybe even 300 euros. So you pay a lot less. Um, yeah, so this has been a very, very quick and dirty and 
yeah, just a quick overview of the Huawei SMP7 compared to the S5 and the HTC One M8. I was Roland with Mobile Geeks. See you later. Bye.